121 in Grapevine was temporarily shut down today when an icy overpass resulted in a 10 car pileup right where first responders were already responding to a crash. They hope it will serve as a reminder for drivers to slow down. Allie Spilliers joins us live there tonight with more. Allie, how do conditions look right now where you are? Well, Meredith, things right now look very clear. The roads here in Grapevine and really throughout this mid cities area. This parking lot that I'm standing in was filled with snow this morning and now honestly the pavement feels pretty bone dry, but we know it was a really different story on the elevated surfaces like this overpass from 121 to 114, which is where we had a big problem this morning. This is the aftermath of a 10 vehicle pileup that Grapevine Fire says happened when a driver lost control on black ice and crashed into a fire engine. That led to a chain reaction. Thankfully, no first responders were injured, but one driver was taken to the hospital. Chief Daryl Brown showed us the department's blocker truck, which is dinged from multiple hits in the past while working crashes like that one. He says it shows just how important it is, ice or not, for all drivers to pay attention and to slow down when they see first responders working. Anytime we're on a freeway, <clears throat> that's the biggest time when I want to hit my knees and, and pray for our people because we go to we go to a few fires, those are, but they have become low frequency, high risk events. But out on that freeway is a high risk, high frequency event and it's the most dangerous place we operate today, without a doubt. Now, I also want to show you this photo that Grapevine police shared today, saying an officer was responding to this crash when he saw multiple drivers going 80 miles per hour or more. And again, that was this morning when we still had snow and ice on the road. So even though things look really good right now, the chief told me that he is asking people to give themselves a little extra time in the morning and take it slow just in case we have any refreeze tonight and have any issues on those overpasses or in other trouble spots. Brian. Better safe than sorry for sure. Thank you, Allie.